southern trees bear strange fruit blood on the leaves and blood at the root There was something of the outlaw to Billy Holiday. Billy was on was on the on the fringes in a way. There was something radical just about her style and her her carriage, her demeanor. Um, there was something more unsettling about her. This was not something that was played on the radio everywhere. It was too dangerous and no one no one would have played it. So it it popped up only in very limited venues. She could sing it only in kind of left-wing nightclubs like Cafe Society, the New York nightclub where she introduced the song. It couldn't have been in the South. It never sold a lot of copies. It never got a lot of airtime. This song was an event, and people went not just to hear her, but to, they went to hear this song because there had never been a song like it. Black bodies swinging in the southern breeze. Strange. Waitresses, the waiters were instructed not to serve any drinks, and nothing was rung up on the cash register, and all the lights went down, and there were just these little pinpoint lights that were on her, and the rest of the place was dark. It always closed out her sets that she never, she could never perform anything else after it. It was staged very theatrically, which is again part of its appeal, part of its power. Um, and part of its uniqueness. I think the influence of the song was largely on younger people. I think that it radicalized a whole generation of younger performers. It, it captured America's racial problem more starkly than any song ever did. Uh -huh. 